Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today finally is the day that I'm heading out on a trip to Utah. Just getting ready, the bike is ready, all packed up. Just said goodbyes to my wife and daughter earlier. All right, pa honey. Jak będę miał sygnał, to zadzwonię, ja. My friends, they left earlier today at 10 o'clock. I had things to take care of before I head out for the road. So I'm gonna be like uh, four hours behind them. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch them up by the time we get to the destination for tonight, which is Sealy Lake in Montana. That will be quite challenging, as you can see maybe on a GPS at 600 kilometers and it is 2 o'clock p.m. right now so I won't be probably stopping much anywhere I'm just gonna try to drive and fill up and drive again um, just to the border alone it's gonna take me a while to get um, I believe Montana border is about three and a half hours where I supposed to be at So yeah, for now I'm just gonna keep on driving uh, because we have to get to Omoa probably by Tuesday or maybe Monday. We'll see how it goes as we have a reservation at the campsite there. I'm surprised actually because uh, last couple of days has been very miserable with very high winds, lots of rain and today we got lucky and uh, for the for, for that uh, weather that we have for now let's hope it stays like that uh, so we can get through the mountains Montana and Idaho so that will be a long day today by the looks of it I can't believe it that I actually left that late but sometimes life gets in the way not much we can do normally we live together as a group but I didn't want to hold anybody back because uh, original departure was scheduled for tomorrow actually and uh, we all agreed that we will leave on a Friday unfortunately stuff came up and uh, that's the, that's why I'll be running slightly behind but that's okay in the worst case I'll get there by like 10 11 p.m. I'm not gonna rush or nothing, still drive as normal speed limit. So this is only second time on a bike that I have been out this year. Like the first time we had a little bit of nice weather in between, but as you, if you follow my channel in the previous videos, when I went to McLean Creek, the temperatures and uh, were quite low and it was still quite a bit of snow out there. I haven't been out since then because the weather really sucked. It was like either snowing or raining. And uh, today is the 10th of May. So 10th of May, that's a very, very late start for this spring. If you can call that a spring or it's gonna go directly into summer. I won't film much here probably, no, no point. Because I filmed this stretch in my previous trips. Once I get to something nicer, uh, I will get back to you guys. Fifty kilometers south of Calgary now, and uh, about eighty kilometers towards the U.S. border. The wind picked up quite a bit. It got quite windy, but that's normal in this area, as uh, we are getting closer also to uh, Waterton National Park, and that's where the Alberta is famous for its windmills. The plan right now is to fill up the gas in Cardston. I figure I get a little bit further outside of uh, Fort McLeod and closer to the border. I'm not sure if how, how soon there is a gas station after the border. I'm not gonna take a chance and that's why I'll stop 
the cards so they fill it up. I just got here around the corner and as you can see on my right that's where the windmills are located and this they pretty much stretch here and there all the way towards uh, Krosner's Pass Highway so anywhere between Krosner's Pass and south of the border here you can find those windmills wow that wind is strong you can always look it up once I'm in Karkston if there is an option to fill up somewhere in the uh, States The border crossing that uh, I will be crossing to US is called it's called Carsway because I'm not heading I-15 down south to Utah. Just a little bit more scenic, and uh, right in front of me, I can already see the mountains. And as I'm getting closer, and that's where the Warrington National Park is located. For those of you that are not familiar with this area. Approaching Cardston right now. I will look for a gas station. I don't want to take a chances because uh, once I get to the south of the border, the carway is uh, half an hour away. But the looks of it, 34 kilometers to the border crossing. It's a nice little town. I think it's uh, very Mormon oriented. Uh, I th uh, what I was reading. Uh, this town has a pretty high population of uh, Mormon com community. I think they have uh, well, like one of the main churches here. Here on the outskirts, there's also a lot of native people living, or indigenous, however you want to call it. There, as I mentioned, even they have a teepee here beside their home. That's pretty cool. That sign was quite deceiving because it's saying Cardston, but I actually was Cardston County, not Cardston yet. So I'm still probably a couple more kilometers before I hit the town. Okay, we just finally had a sign, so it's uh, 21 kilometers to Cardston and 45 to the border. And at that point, I should be almost 200 kilometers south from home. So I'm in Cardston, just filled up, and I have to carry on. They are in Libby, my friends, so they're about three hours away from me. I got some catching up to do. Not much time to waste if I want to make it there this evening. It's time to go. Wow, it's hot. It's like 27 degrees. Unbelievable. I didn't expect that today. After those temperatures that we had. Not much went here in town, but uh, once I get out of town, or even before, it was like extremely windy. They just stopped for a burger in Libby. That's it for a little town. Beautiful mountains. Yeah, another coincidence. I was just at the gas station and uh, one of my followers on YouTube recognized me. That's the second time I ran into somebody that uh, recognized me from YouTube. He's following my channel, he says. Uh, and he said that it's almost like running into Ichi Boots. <laughs> and I started to laugh. Because, yeah, me and Ichi Boots, uh, I wish. 
my small channel is like nothing comparing to what uh, Ichibuch does. I follow her myself for many years already. I love her videos. She can post just about anything and people will watch pretty much uh, from the beginning to the end. I'm not even close to that. Some of my followers are aging uh, between uh, 45 and 55 years of age. That's the group of people that are following my channel. And I know not many of you subscribing to it. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, that's something that you don't care for, but uh, again, if you are watching my channel, don't be shy, hit that subscribe button, hit the like on the video, and uh, always put some comments. That's a, that's a part that is rewarding uh, us on YouTube, especially small channels, uh, because like we don't have uh, so much exposure, the algorithm isn't uh, as favorable for us as the big channels that are as well established so yeah anytime you hit the subscribe don't unsubscribe just hit it once so you don't have to ever do it again no you just need to hit the subscribe button once uh, if you are not familiar how that works uh, once you subscribe uh, uh, you will still not stay notified uh, when i'm posting a video if you hit that little bell on the right hand side I always appreciate new subscribers, new comments. I try to get all of, the, all of them answered always. Look at that beautiful view up ahead of me. Lots of snow in the mountains. It will take some time before that's gone. Also in this area, I'm very close to the road to the sun, uh, which is the Glacier National Park in Montana. I'll be having this park on the right of me once I cross the border and also this border is not a 24-hour boulder border so I'm hoping to make it before they close it uh, I think they should have a sign pretty soon what are the hours of this border crossing You can see the border up ahead here, and four kilometers away. Let's hope it's going to be an easy crossing, because sometimes, for no reason, they can check for stuff, they look for trouble. But the border should be open, I saw a vehicle going towards it. There we go. Bye bye Canada for 11 days. You got it now? Yep, got it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Where's home? Calgary. Where are you headed? Utah, Moab. Purpose of the trip? Just riding there. It's a beautiful day for a ride. Yeah, my oh. friends are up ahead. They left this morning, so oh, okay. <laughs> trying to catch up. <laughs> How long are you going to be in the U.S.? Uh, I will be coming back on the 21st. Okay. I have to be back in Calgary by then. Okay. Anything to declare? Alcohol, tobacco, firearms? Nothing. Fresh food, produce? Nothing. Gift souvenirs over ten thousand dollars cash? No. Nothing in the is that a cooler or just a lost box? That's my camera gear. <laughs> camera gear? Okay. Yeah. You're all set. Have a good bike ride. Take Thank care. Enjoy the nice weather. Thank you very much, sir. I hope there's not too much snow through the mountains. <laughs> no, it should all be melted by now. Yeah? Yeah. So those last couple snowfalls were <laughs> quite crazy. <laughs> I went through yesterday through those mountains yesterday and there were the roads were clear. Oh perfect. Thank so you. You should be good. Yeah, have a good day. Just crossed the border. There was no major issues at all. And welcome to Montana. 228 miles to destination. 
Let's go. Well, the bugs are out, I guess. The buffaloes, there's a buffalo farm. Quite a few of them, even there's a white one, so albino. summer when there was no snow it looks actually very nice with the snow on it but the whole area uh, to my right everything is burned so there was a forest fire here on the left it's already new forest growing but nothing on the right hand side yet well there we go we got snow on the side of the road. So gaining some elevation here. Let's see what elevation are we at. Well, I can feel the pressure build up in the ears. So the elevation here is 5,582 feet. of sand till the surface. It's still probably slide out for the winter with the snow that came down because that is closed normally throughout the whole winter. concentrated on this the really tight and narrow turns I can see a reason why it's 25 miles per hour especially for a car I just arrived in the East Glacier Park so that was actually quite a bit of saving going this way on time even though it was a bit slower a lot of tourists coming up slowly 
they seen people from Illinois, Wisconsin already. Columbia Falls, 72 miles. Beware of bears. What are the chances that we will see one? Not so much exposed rock, more green. As we got to the lower elevations, the scenery has changed a little bit. It's more lush, more green. The speed limit also is 70, so it's uh, smooth cruising. Not a boring road at all, with nice twisties. Just the shadows are now limiting the vision a little bit on the tight corners. So I actually didn't go to Columbia Falls. I left it on the side. I thought I gonna go through it, but uh, I just turned. There was another bypass. And right now I'm heading on uh, Montana 83 South. I'm about 64 miles away from my final destination for today. It is getting later, it is uh, 8 uh, o'clock. So it uh, wasn't really a long day, but uh, pushing all the time. So that's the worst part of it, as I don't want to arrive late and wake everybody. So this way I should be able to get there like 9 o'clock or shortly after 9 p.m. If everything goes well, a little bit of construction of course here, what we can see in front of me. So now we're starting heading south, following a big lake here on the right hand side. at the destination now I got another 15 miles and it is getting darker today is getting close to an end I got another 15 miles to the final destination it cooled off a lot I had to pull over and put a sweater on it is uh, 13 degrees now as the night uh, approaches uh, it was a pretty nice ride today Tomorrow is another day, another another awesome ride, hopefully, with nice sceneries, similar to the ones that we've seen today. I will probably have a drink or two myself, not too much, as tomorrow, I'm not sure what time is going to be the departure. Can't be too hangover to ride, uh, you want to be in a good shape, especially on those twisty roads in the forest. And right now what I can see is... Uh, so many deer and they're like everywhere I passed uh, big herds I wish that would be the story in November when the hunting is gonna be open time will show but yeah th this time of the day like uh, at least uh, 10 minutes ago we start before I started filming uh, there was a little bit more open areas here and there and there were so many deers so anyways guys if you like that video today don't forget to hit the like button comment down below subscribe only once you need to subscribe only once to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video a week from now